हेलो एवरीवन दिस लेक्चर इज अबाउट पार्ट वन ऑफ प्रॉब्लम सेट फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वी आर आस्ट टू फाइंड आउट वेदर दीज थ्री पॉइंट्स आर कोलिनियर और नॉट टू फाइंड आउट वेदर दे आर कोलिनियर और नॉट देर आर टू मेथड्स द फर्स्ट मेथड इज द डिस्टेंस फॉर्मूला मेथड एंड द सेकेंड मेथड इज द स्लोप मेथड एंड फ्रॉम माई पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू स्लोप मेथड इज मोर कंफर्टेबल so i write first slope of ab the formula is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 second number minus second number first number minus first number this is the formula so ab second number is minus 0.5 minus 2 1 minus 0 that is equal to that is equal to Minus zero point five minus two is minus two point five upon one. That is, there is a decimal point here. I will shift the decimal point so that I will get slope of AB will be equal to minus twenty five upon ten. Five two is a five five is a. It will be minus five upon two. Hope this is clear. I have got slope AB as minus five upon two. I will write slope of AC. Because why to take b? This is I think a decimal point. Take ac. So I'll write ac. Y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So y2 minus y1 means second number minus the second number minus three minus two upon two minus zero. That will be minus five upon two. This is dash two. So I write from one and two slope of ab. Is equal to slope of AC, and A is common point. Common point. Therefore, points A, B, and C are collinear. Hope this is clear. It's very simple. Question number two is written here. P, Q, R. First, I will find slope of P, Q. I am not writing the formula. Directly, I will write slope of P, Q. Slope of PQ. The formula is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. That is second number minus the second number. So 8 upon 5 minus 2 upon 1. Fraction is first number minus first number. So I will get khachak 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 because here the denominator not same. So 8 one side is 8 minus 5 two side is 10 upon 5 upon 1. That is equal to 8 minus 10 is. Minus two upon five upon one. That is equal to slope of of PQ is minus two upon five upon one. Don't you don't have to write that upon one. Slope of my PQ is minus two upon five. Next is slope of QR. The formula is slope of QR. The formula is second number minus second number. Upon first number minus first number, so six minus eight upon five. The denominator is same here, so it will be minus two upon five upon one. So your answer will be minus two upon five. So slope is minus two upon five minus two upon five. Slopes are equal, so I write slope of PQ is equal to slope of QR, and which is the common point here? Q is the common point. Q is the common point. So I can write points P, Q, and R are collinear. This is question number three. We are supposed to show that L, M, N are collinear. I am using the slope formula. I will write slope of L, M. The formula is y two minus y one upon x two minus x one. That is second number minus the second number, first number minus the first number. That is one upon four. Next, I will find slope of M N. Formula is same. Second number minus second number. That is six minus three. First number minus first number. That is eight minus five. So answer is three upon three. The answer is one. This is one. This is two. So I will write from one and two. Slope of L N is not equal to slope of M N. Therefore, points L M and N are non-collinear. This is question number three. 
find the coordinates of the midpoint of line segment joining PQ. This is one of the easiest questions of problem set. PQ is given. We are supposed to find the midpoint, coordinates of the midpoint. So you have to start the sum as let the midpoint of set PQ be M and the coordinates be A comma B. Then you use which formula by midpoint formula. Now what is the midpoint formula? Midpoint formula is x coordinate taking x coordinate. What is your midpoint? x coordinate is a x1 plus x2 divided by 2. So x1 is this is 0, this is 12. So 0 plus 12 divided by 2, that is 12 divided by 2 is 6. So you got the value of a. Next is b for y coordinate y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So y1 is 6 plus 20 divided by 2, that is 26 divided by 2, that is 13. So I have got the answer. So midpoint m is 6, 13. This is question number 4. Find the ratio in which line segment joining points AB is divided by the y axis. Now look at the diagram. This is a y axis. This y axis is dividing segment AB. Now it is dividing segment AB in point M. So I will write let the point of intersection of y axis and seg AB be point M. Now point M point M. Any point which lies on y axis, any point which lies on y axis has an x coordinate 0. Any point lying on x axis has y coordinate 0. Then say it one. Agar ek point jo hai, wo y axis pe rehta hai, wo y axis pe rehta hai, तो उसका x कोऑर्डिनेट 0 रहता है लेकिन y कोऑर्डिनेट मतलब y एक्सिस पे कौन से नंबर पे रह रहा है पता है क्या तुमको नहीं पता है तो सपोज वो y एक्सिस पे सपोज पॉइंट a पे रह रहा है ये नंबर जो है ना y एक्सिस का मालूम नहीं कौन सा नंबर है m वो a है सपोज लेकिन उसका x कोऑर्डिनेट 0 रहेगा क्योंकि वो y एक्सिस पे है कोई भी पॉइंट x एक्सिस पे रहता है ना तो उसका y कोऑर्डिनेट 0 रहता है कोई भी पॉइंट y एक्सिस पे रहता है ना तो उसका x कोऑर्डिनेट 0 रहता है तो ये पॉइंट रहेगा 0, a वो पॉइंट रहेगा 0, a बराबर है 0, a सो आई राइट देयरफॉर लेट द कोऑर्डिनेट ऑफ पॉइंट m बी 0, a ओके क्लियर है लेट द रेशियो इन व्हिच Point M divides AB B M is to N. Suppose जो ratio में point M divide करता है AB को वो रहेगा N is to N. So I'll write which formula I'll use? I'll use by section formula of internal division. Okay? Now which coordinate will I use? Will I use x coordinate or y coordinate? See x coordinate answer is given. So if I use x coordinate formula, then only I will get the answer. Because m or n जो है वो missing value is already है. So I will write taking x coordinate, taking x coordinate formula. Now what is the x coordinate formula? Answer is given. Zero is equal to m x two plus m x one upon m plus n. Zero is equal to m. The value of n is m. The value of x two. This is x one x2 is minus 9 n is n what is x1 is 3 upon m plus n this is division it comes here become multiplication 0 into n number is 0 is equal to minus 9 m plus 3 n minus 9 m comes here becomes plus 9 m is equal to 3 n therefore m upon n is equal to 3 upon 9 3 1 the 3 3 the so the ratio in which point m divides set a b is 1 is to 3. This is question number 5.
find the point on x axis which is equidistant from p and q see the diagram p and q are equidistant are equidistant from a point on x axis that means suppose the point on x axis is a this distance and this distance is equal so we are asked to find out what is this point on x axis do we know the point we don't know the point so the point on x axis let the point on x axis be a but what will be the coordinate in the last question we have seen any point which is lying on y axis the x coordinate is zero here the point lies on x axis if it lies on x axis then the y coordinate will be zero so y coordinate will be zero so do you know what is the x coordinate we don't know the x coordinate let this x coordinate be suppose m is this clear so let this point be m comma 0 why 0 because it lies on x axis hamesha yaad rakhna x axis pe agar point rahega to uska y coordinate 0 rahega y axis pe point rahega to uska x coordinate 0 rahega to ye x axis pe hai to iska y coordinate 0 hai aur x coordinate hame nahi pata hai to x coordinate hai suppose m are samjha kya to ye point hai a m comma 0 clear hai ab ye jo point hai ye point a jo hai wo equidistant hai so i will write distance of ap is equal to distance of aq distance ap is equal to distance aq to main likhunga distance ap ka formula kya hai formula square root of x2 minus x1 square y2 minus y1 square okay chero m minus 2 square plus 0 minus of minus pi square so it will be distance ap is equal to m minus 2 square plus plus 5 square is 25 so this is my equation number 1 so I have got distance AP then I will write distance AQ what is the formula same formula x2 minus x1 square y2 minus y1 square you can take any number m first number minus first number second number minus second number square that is the formula so m minus of minus 2 square plus 0 minus 9 square so it will be m plus 2 square plus minus 9 square is 81 this is your distance aq now both the distances are equal so i will write distance ap is equal to distance aq it is given this is given so i will write root of m minus 2 the whole square plus 25 is equal to square root of square root of m plus 2 the whole square plus 81 both the sides there is square square root sign squaring both the sides i will get m minus 2 the whole square plus 25 is equal to m plus 2 the whole square plus 81 so here formula a minus b the whole square formula a square minus 2ab plus b square m square minus 2ab means 2 into m into 2 is 4m 2 square is 4 plus 25 is equal to a square plus 2ab that is 4m plus b square that is 4 plus 81 m square m square is on both the sides it will get cancelled it will get cancelled but don't cancel it directly write in the next term m square minus m square will get cancelled take like terms minus 4m minus 4m 81 plus 4 is 85 minus 25 minus 4 so here you will get minus 8m is equal to 85 minus 25 is 6 times 6 times minus 4 is 56 
सो एम इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी सिक्स अपॉन माइनस एट एट वन जा एट सेवन ला सो एम इज इक्वल टू माइनस सेवन सो योर कॉर्डिनेट ऑन एक्स एक्सिस इज माइनस सेवन कॉमस जीरो दिस इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ टू डेज लेक्चर क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स देर आर थ्री सब क्वेश्चन वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड द डिस्टेंस इज बिटवीन दीज थ्री क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट डिस्टेंस ए डी सो आई राइट This is x1, y1, x2, y2. You have to write x1 is equal to a, y1 is equal to zero, x2 is equal to zero, y2 is equal to a. Then you must write distance formula of a b. The formula is under root x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Okay. So first number minus first number. Second number minus second number. So your answer will be minus a square plus a square. So it will be minus a square is a square. This is a square. So it will be root of two a square. So square root of two is two. Square root of a square is a. So answer of distance a b is root two into a. Next is distance p q. These are normal numbers. You all can solve it at home. Distance PQ is very simple. Next is third question is here there are variables given. So distance RS formula is x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. I am not writing the formula. I am directly solving it. X2 is first number is a. First number is minus 3a square plus second number is minus 2a minus second number is a square. So I will get. A plus three a square plus minus three a square. One plus three is four a square plus this is three square is nine a square. Four a square is sixteen a square plus nine a square. So total is twenty five a square. Taking square root distance R S. Twenty five का square root five a square का a. So distance R S is five a.